Welcome to the three scale installation guide where we will explore the use of OpenShift container storage for read write many operations used by components such as the developer portal in three scale. So we are going to use OpenShift console for our demo today. You can also do this installation using the command line, but our demo will exclusively focus on the console UI today. So before we start, the prerequisites are, or the assumption is that you've already installed your OpenShift cluster, the console is up and running. Uh, for the purpose of this demo, I'm going to use the internal Red Hat product demo system and uh, the open, I'm using OpenShift 4.8 for this exercise. So this is our OpenShift console UI. So to install 3Scale, we need to first create a project where we'll install our, all our components. So first, let's go ahead and select projects. Let's create a project. We'll name the project 3Scale-AMP. This is where we'll be installing our 3Scale and all the relevant components. And uh, we'll ask the operator to install in this uh, namespace. Right, now that we've created the project, let's go to operators and select the three scale operator. Let's select the official Red Hat integration three scale operator uh, versus the community one for, uh, for the part of our exercise. You can see here what the operator does, what are the supported features, etc. And after having a quick read, now let's go ahead and install the Red Hat three scale integration operator. I'm going to choose the three scale 2.10 for this exercise and make sure you've selected the namespace or project that we created earlier. Once you've verified that, go ahead and click install. All right. So the installation will take a couple of minutes. So please be patient with that. Uh, all right, now that the operator is installed and the installation has succeeded, let's go and verify that in install operators. It says succeeded. Now, next, we have to go ahead and install our OpenShift container storage operator in a similar way. Let's go to operator hub. Let's type OpenShift container storage. Yeah, that's the operator. Let's go ahead and click on it again. You can find details about the operator, what it does, the core capabilities, etc. And once you had a read of it, let's go ahead and click install. We're going to choose the stable 4.8 version for this. And again, remember that OpenShift will create an OpenShift hyphen storage namespace if it's already not created for this exercise. So once you've confirmed that, let's go ahead and uh, click on install. Right. Again, this process will take a few minutes for the operator installation to be successful. So let's wait until the create storage cluster button is activated. That shows that, you know, the operator installation is successful. So let's again give it a couple of minutes here. There you go. Now you can go ahead and create your storage cluster. Let's go ahead and click on that. Right, the requested capacity, I think, for this exercise, let's just do 0 0.5. That should be enough. Let's select all the three nodes as it's recommended here and click on next. You can leave all the other options as default and in the next screen, you can see the summary of what you've done. There you go. So it shows all the actions that you've performed previously. If you're satisfied, go ahead and click create. Right, now that we've completed the creation of our storage cluster. The next step is to create API manager in the three scale project. API manager basically tells the three scale operator on what to install and what are the configurations that it should take. Let's go ahead and select the three scale project first. Navigate to install operators if you haven't already done so. Go to all the custom resource definitions. Select the API manager and create a new API manager. Re go to the YAML view and replace the existing code that we that I, with the code that I've provided in, in the blog. Go ahead and replace your wildcard domain with the default DNS of your OpenShift cluster. You can find it in the address bar of your console UI here.
So this exact line kind of the key part of our demo here, basically telling three scale to use OpenShift container storage. Go ahead and click on create. You see that the API manager is created. So, so as soon as you do that, you can see that uh, the API manager instructs the operator to start installation of three scale. We can go check that in the developer topology view. You can see all the pods are coming up one by one this is basically the api manager telling the operator to install all these things so give it around 10 minutes for all the pods to come up please feel free to go have a cup of coffee or something and after you come back uh, don't forget to check if the system app pod is up and it has a route created now that we can see that system app is up the route is created here uh, let's go ahead and click on it you can see all the three scale uh, cluster urls here the three scale admin url the three scale master url so let's go ahead and click on the admin url and we land on the login page we need the email password we can find that under secrets of our three scale project let's go ahead and search for system seed there you go scroll down you can find the admin username password copy and paste these passwords on the three scale login page admin paste the password click on sign in there you go all right so this is our three scale admin portal but the most important part to check if our installation has been successful is to go check the developer portal so let's go ahead and click on the developer portal click on visit portal right so the developer portal is up and running this shows our installation is successful we can see the name of the api the plans here and everything so let's go ahead and make a small change to just check again our uh, installation is perfect i'm going to change the name of the api from eco api to red hat api and going to publish it go scroll down publish and refresh your developer portal there you go this shows our installation is successful and also brings us to the end of our video i hope you found it useful thank you